Yes, once again, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna look at how we can reference the values in the table in Google Sheets. In the last video, I showed you how we use tables in Google Sheets, and we did create this table here. So in this video, what I want to do is how do we use these different columns in our sheet elsewhere? For example, if I type here, and now the name of this table is called sales data. Once I start typing the word sales, you can see I have references to the table. So if I pick this first one here, control shift enter, there you go. You're gonna get all the data in your Google sheet. Now, if you refer to this data here, you need to use the array formula to extract everything. So if I go back here and I say sales, now there's sales data and sales all. Now the, what the sales all does, it brings the headers as well. So if I try this first one, then I, I say control shift enter to surround it with the array formula. There you go. It brings the data without the headers, as you can see. But if at all I want my headers, then I have to use sales data all. And again, I have to surround it with array formula. Shortcut is control shift enter. And there you go. So this is how you can reference to the table. Now you may say, okay, all oh, that is fine and good. Assuming I want only one column in this table. For example, I have a column of dates here. Again, you just pick that. So if I use the names, yeah, it brings me one name. But if again, I use Control Shift Enter to surround it with the array formula, I get all the names as you can see. Now, the good thing or the beauty about this is that much as you can reference them on this same sheet where the table is, you can also do the same using another sheet. So for example, when I type here, you can see I have access to this different information, like my regions here. Again, Control Shift Enter, and then you get your region. So, so it doesn't matter whether you're on the same sheet as the table, even if you're on another sheet with the table, you can still reference them as well. Now, let's see how we can use formulas. So you can say sum, for example, if I say sum, and then I type, I want to sum the amounts in there. Type enter, you get 15,000. So let's double check with that. And there you go, it gives you 15,000. So you can use these in formulas as well. And also the good thing, you can also use it in a dropdown. Uh, you can create a dropdown based and use the references of the table. So how do we do that? Insert, then drop down. Then the usual dialog comes here. Now it is referencing to that. Here it is saying criteria. I select range here. Then I can say sales. Sales data. Then I square brackets. I select the names. I think it was sales man. I hope I've select spelled it right. If I've not said, yeah, there you go salesman you see the names come here and then when i come here i can see them in a drop down like so so it is very good now you can also use them in other functions for example the filter function uh the range that i want to filter which is sales uh, data without the headers comma my filter conditions i want salesman this one to be equal to what i select in my drop down here 
And there you go. So you can see because Barbara is selected here, my filter function goes into that table and filters out Barbara information. So if I selected another person, you can see it all works fine. So you can use the references in drop downs. Also, you can use them in formulas as I've demonstrated to you in this video. So I think uh, tables in Google Sheets is a good function, and I believe I'll be using it when I'm doing my work. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about the tables in Google Sheets, please drop me a message below, and then I'll look at it. Otherwise, this is all I have for you today. Have a great day and see you in the next video.